Did you guys see that fight? Adrian Broner versus uh, Manny Pacquiao. Man, Adrian Broner fights like a guy who has no desire to win fights. Like, what, I, what I've what i always been turned off as a boxing fan when it comes to Broner is he never lets his hands go enough. And every big ma- major fight that he's lost, he always did not let his hands go enough. He did it against Mikey Garcia. He wasn't letting his hands go at all against that guy. He did it against Sean Porter. He did it against Marcos Maidana. And again, he did it against tonight against uh, Manny Pacquiao. Uh, Manny Pacquiao was the aggressor. Manny Pacquiao was letting his hands go. Manny Pacquiao was beating up Adrian Broner. And I hated that in the second half of the fight and the championship rounds where Adrian Broner really needed to dig deep and actually try to win a round against Pacquiao, he decides to go on the back foot and not let his hands go at all. I mean, that was, what a joke. You know, I, I, I gave up on Adrian Broner a long time ago. Adrian Broner was a guy who was supposed to be the next floor with the junior. Turned out he was a fraud. You know, I knew he was not on Mayweather's level back then when he was unbeaten, you know, back in 2012, 2013, you know, I knew he was eventually going to get exposed because I thought he looked horrible when he when he fought that Ponce de Leon guy who gave him a hard time. When I saw that fight, I was like, oh, man, Broner is not as good as Mayweather. But he's just, he's never been an elite, uh, I was going to say heavyweight because I talk so much about the heavyweight division, but he's never been an elite fighter Broner man he's just he's he's oh he's he's an average man he's an average fighter I mean even an old Manny Pacquiao was able to beat Adrian Broner an old Manny Pacquiao this is because don't get it twisted this was an old Manny Pacquiao even an old Manny Pacquiao was too much for Adrian Broner imagine if Manny Pacquiao was 10 years younger imagine if it was 2009 and Manny Pacquiao was fighting Broner. That would have been a massacre. You know, I think Manny Pacquiao would have just left Adrian Broner with no what black and blue. It would have, it would have just been a complete mismatch. But you could you saw the age in uh, Manny Pacquiao. You know, he did look his age. Uh, he he's he definitely wasn't as explosive. You know, Manny Pacquiao in his prime was known as being an explosive fighter. That's what people loved about his style. Right, he was an explosive type of fighter through 80 punches around was like the energizer bunny uh at least that's my memory of manny pacquiao when he was at his best you couldn't outwork manny pacquiao he was throwing 80 100 punches around in his prime but yeah he's definitely not that and he was like a savage he was an absolute beast but he's definitely not that manny pacquiao anymore uh he looked his age against broner i'm telling you right now if this was a prime pacquiao he would have destroyed broner um but it just goes to show you how that the Broner was always really overrated. I mean, a over-the-hill Manny Pacquiao beat Broner. And after seeing this performance of Manny Pacquiao, you know, I think Manny Pacquiao should just retire. You know, he's I don't think he can he's going to be able to beat the guys like a Terrence Crawford, even an Errol Spence Jr. I even think Ma- Mikey Garcia would beat Manny Pacquiao. This version of Manny Pacquiao, but it's just amazing that, you know, he was still able to beat and dominate Adrian Broner. You know, Adrian Broner, again, I don't like how he fights. Like, he, he fights like he has no desire to win. You know, it's like he has a desire to win only for the first half of the fight. And then he decides to not let his hands go in the second half of the fight. Like, in the first half of the fight, he, at least he was a little bit trying. But then he just, he gave up. It's just, I, like, in the... And the second half of the fight is where you have to be letting your hands go the most because that's when that's the championship rounds. Um, I just don't like that 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 type of demeanor and and that type of uh, thing that Broner does where he just doesn't let his hands go enough is the biggest turnoff. Uh, this was his opportunity to at least make a get himself back in there because he got schooled against Michael Garcia. He needed this win against Manny Pacquiao, and once again he came up short. Uh, so. You know I, what is there for Adrian Broner? Now, he's not going to be none of the, uh, the 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 best guys at welterweight. He ain't going to be. He he can't beat Terence Crawford. He can't beat Errol Spence Jr. He already lost to Mikey Garcia. Uh, he can't be none of those guys. You know he he can't even beat uh, Manny Pacquiao apparently. So yeah, I just think that uh, uh, Manny Pacquiao had a great career. He's a Hall of Famer, 
and he should just uh, retire. Like, I, I want to see Manny Pacquiao retire because, like I said, it's a very, really a new generation of boxers, of welterweights. Uh, and, yeah, I think he should retire because I think if he fights one of these young elite welterweights, he would get knocked out and lose. Uh, but just evidence on this fight because he, he looked his age. But when it comes to Broner, like, to be honest, like, I, I, I really don't uh, care too much about Broner's career, you know. I've always looked at him as a guy who is a guy who thinks he's better than he actually is like when it comes to talent wise he's very he has a big ego and i think that he's oh he's he's always felt that he was better than he actually is but boxing fans know that he's not as good as he actually think he is if you get what i'm saying uh i'm just not impressed with broner you know i haven't i have not been impressed with broner for for years now to be honest with you and like i said i kind of gave up on broner uh He's probably going to fight a bum next, and then he'll try and get a big fight again, and then he'll lose against that that dude. Like, this is his fourth loss. Like, at this point, he's like, he's starting to look like a journeyman, you know? He's starting to look like a journeyman. I mean, four or five losses now, uh, and you notice how it's always against the best guys. He just is not able to beat the best guys. These are just facts. Broner, I don't know. Like, I really, I'm not, I, I really don't expect much for in Broner's future career as a boxer I think he's gonna just continue to lose and come up short whenever he's up there against the top of the line the upper enchilada of the welterweights he's just gonna continue to lose and when it comes to Broner I've always felt that he was more effective in the lower weight classes the 140s the 135s I think he's ineffective at 147 because he's never done anything impressive at 147. And the same thing goes for Manny Pacquiao. I thought Manny Pacquiao at his best was at 135, 140. He's not a puncher at 147. He's never been a puncher at 147. Uh, so, but like I said, with Pacquiao, I just think he's over the hill. He, I think he just needs to retire at this point. Uh, unless he wants to get knocked out himself. Because I'm telling you, at that version of Manny Pacquiao is not the same Pacquiao who fought... 10 years ago, you know, I know Pacquiao at his prime, he was a beast. Broner, I just don't see him, you know, I just, I'm not really interested in Broner's uh, future career because I know what's going to happen already. He's just going to lose every time. He's going to come up short every time he's up there against the best guys. You know, he's probably going to fight a bum because that's what he does whenever he loses. He fights a bum that he's going to easily beat. And he acts like he's back. He says that he's serious now. And then he goes in there and he doesn't let his hands go. Broner always does that. He he, he sings the same tune. Oh, I'm back. I'm serious now. I, I'm taking my boxing career seriously. I'm going to let my hands go. Then the fight happens. He doesn't let his hands go. He, he, he doesn't let his hands go enough. This has been his biggest problem. He does not let his hands go enough. And this is why he always loses. Anyway, guys, it's off to say. Uh, the fight, it, it played out like most people thought it was going to play out. You know, Broner was not being aggressive enough. Trying to, he was moving way too much, being way too defensive, and Pacquiao was being the aggressor. He was taking the risk. He was the one letting his hands go, and he was scoring the points. You know, Broner was moving, but he needed to let your hands go. His trainer, his trainer told him in the corner, "Yo, it's good that you're moving, but let your hands go, man." That's how you win rounds. Uh, but Broner, he just doesn't seem to. Like I said, he fights like he's not, like he doesn't care about taking risks or winning the second half of fights. And yeah, it's just, I wasn't really impressed with this fight, you know, it wasn't really entertaining, it was just really uh, Broner running away, being way too defensive, doing what he always does in back, you know, looking like a a much older fighter than he you know, I I I remember Pacquiao in his in his prime. He was a killer. But yeah, that's all I have to say, guys. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and uh thumbs the video up if you enjoyed it.